Morning everybody, this is Derek King, Kingfish on YouTube. I just wanted to take a quick video of my fish this morning. Everybody seems to be uh, doing okay. Um, like you guys know, I've been having a little bit of trouble out of a Venustis, not out of Venustis, I'm sorry, out of a living stone eye, that beautiful male right there. And it seems like today he's going to act right, but we'll see. I tried to acclimate him again over the last week or so, and he looks okay. You know, doesn't have his... I'm going to attack you colors on them. But, you know, additionally, I wanted to highlight one of my new additions that I've absolutely been looking for for a while. I have a Barracuda cichlid. Let me see. There he is. I have a juvenile male Barracuda. That is a gorgeous fish that I have been looking for right here. He is going to be absolutely spectacular. That Barracuda right there is a absolutely gorgeous fish. I've been looking for him. He's a juvenile male. Um, and I just wanted to kind of highlight him this morning. He seems to be getting along with everybody in this tank extremely well. Um, everything is working out good with him. I know a lot of times, I mean, they're kind of hard to come by. And so I had actually tried to get one a while ago and didn't have that opportunity. But uh, thankfully now I was able to get him. So. I added that Barracuda cichlid, and then I also added another one that if someone knows what this is, I'd love help identifying. And that's him right here. Even the breeder that I got him from, the one over here in the corner, that beautiful one with stripes. Not really sure what kind it is. Looks like a Nemochromus species, you know, based on the shape. Um, he's definitely not a hybrid from what I can tell. But um, where'd he go? But if you have any idea, where is he? If you have any, he's behind here. If you have any idea what that fish is right there, please let me know. But um, everybody seems to be doing pretty well, even at Livingstone Eye for today. But I just added um, those two over the last couple of days. But everybody seems to be doing pretty good. That Barracuda is going to be a gorgeous fish. They get, I um, mean, the wild they get extremely large. I think in this tank he'll probably get maximum. 10 inches. I can't imagine him getting bigger than that. But that Barracuda is a gorgeous fish. Absolutely gorgeous fish. I couldn't be prouder to actually own him. And he actually seems to be acclimating pretty well. Um, I also want to give a quick shout out to um, John at KG Tropicals and also want my friend Mike um, because I switched up foods about I would say three four weeks ago now now I'm solely feeding uh, let me grab it real fast extreme and I know Mike talked about I mean I know John talked about this before but my friend Mike is the one who actually got me started on it that's what I'm feeding them now and in about a month I, I can tell you what I've seen that was different see this small male right here starting to color up Looks like he's probably a bicolor. Um, he's either a bicolor or a blue neon. But um, I think it's a bicolor, you know. But he started coloring up a lot ever since I actually just changed to that food. Everyone else, their colors seem to have already been doing pretty good. But the reason why I changed was based on a. a few conversations I had with a breeder that I actually buy a lot of these fish from but then also when I saw John KG Tropicals video um, him highlighting extreme um, cichlid food so I, I actually got a sample started feeding it the fish absolutely loved it but uh, it's working out pretty good working out very good. I have no problems with any of them eating and their colors seem to be at least doing just as well as they already were. So, but other than that, that's what I wanted to do. Show that, that Barracuda right there. See if I can get help identifying that fish back there. Just wanted to kind of show them, but my guys are all looking pretty good, pretty healthy, absolutely no issues whatsoever so but uh oh he's getting his mean colors on again that's never a good 
thing. But uh, I'm hoping I'm able to keep that living stone eye. I really am. Um, actually, I reached out to a couple of people. Uh, oh, oh, there's that catfish. That catfish, um, I forgot to mention that upside down catfish. He's a beast. He's not afraid of anybody. You know, I never see him eat, though, which is kind of bothersome to me. I never see him eat. I just usually see him hanging out upside down. But he's obviously not scared of that living stone eye at all. But uh, I just reintroduced the living stone eye. Actually, I used the Mr. Honey to You method over the last six or seven days. He had been locked up, and that seems to be working. But we'll find out. And that VC10 right there, ever since that living stone eye has been in there, he's been just fine. Got dominated, and now he's fine. But that living stone eye, that's the colors I like to see him right there. Those beautiful, natural colors. But I definitely need help identifying that fish right there. And, again, I'm going to finish this part off with a shot of that barracuda, if I can find him. There he is. That beautiful barracuda cichlid. I'm interested in just watching him grow up. Well, all right. See you guys later.